uh, dear students in today's lecture we all will discuss about the electrical energy sources and apart from the electrical energy sources we will also have a look to the network terminology that is used and the sign convention which is used for the sources and passive elements then we will also see how to use current division and voltage division rule and in the last of this lecture we will discuss about the source transformation so the first thing in today's class is to discuss about electrical energy sources as we have also discussed already discussed in our previous lectures that uh, the electrical energy sources are those sources which uh, run the electrical systems now how do they run they run by providing the electrical energy to the electrical systems right so when the source so electrical energy source is that source which provides or which delivers electrical energy to the circuit or to the electrical system right so now if we have to categorize the electrical energy source there are various uh, Way, ways uh, on which the electrical energy sources can be categorized the first to name with is uh, we have dc sources and then we have ac sources dc sources are basically the uh, sources which provide the dc supply that is unidirection okay that is unidirectional so those sources which provide uh, a unidirectional supply to the electrical systems we call them as dc source right and then ac sources are those sources which provide a bidirectional signal to the electrical systems okay so we can say ac ac is the abbreviation of alternating current basically so now ac is a general term used for the bidirectional electrical signals right so ac source provides or deliver ac supply to the electrical systems right so when we say uh, ac supply we actually mean to say the bidirectional signal right now so <clears throat> since our first unit is associated with dc networks okay so we would be discussing about dc sources only as of now ac sources we would cover in unit number 2 so this will be covered it covered in unit second ac sources right so then the first category is based on what type of supply a source provides source jo hai wo kis tarah ka supply provide karta hai whether it provides a unidirectional or it provides a bidirectional right so based on that we have ac and dc sources then these sources are further categorized as voltage source as well as current source in both the cases in ac source also we have voltage source and current source right a voltage source is one which uh, provides voltage and the current source is one which provides current okay 
now since these are dc sources sources so both these sources provide a unidirectional signal to the electrical system unidirectional signal right now further these sources voltage source and current source are further categorized as uh, we have independent sources then we have dependent sources as far as the independent sources are concerned we can have independent ideal sources in which we have independent ideal voltage source independent ideal current source then we also have non ideal sources like practical sources uh, in which we have practical voltage source and then practical current source so these are the categories right similarly for dependent uh, sources voltage source as well as current source we have voltage dependent voltage source voltage dependent current source then current dependent voltage source and current dependent current source right so all these are categories basically cat categories of electrical energy sources right so in this slide we have covered what is an electrical energy source what are the various categories okay so based on the type of supply a source provides we have dc source as well as ac source right then uh, whether the source provides voltage or current we have voltage source and current source whether the source is independent of any other parameter or dependent on any other parameter we have independent sources and dependent sources then independent sources are further categorized as ideal independent sources and practical independent sources right so let us discuss them in brief in next slide so let us start with the ideal sources okay independent ideal source see the first and foremost function of a source is to deliver electrical energy to the electrical system now if our source is capable of providing or delivering constant electrical energy to the electrical system so if for example there is an electrical system and you connect a source to it and then you have a load connected here let us say fine so if this source this is let us say source if this source is capable of providing or delivering a uh, constant voltage or constant current in fact to this load for infinite time for infinite time we will call such voltage source as ideal voltage source right so independent ideal voltage source produces a constant voltage across its two terminals irrespective of whatever is the you know case or condition right this particular ideal source will keep on delivering the constant electrical energy constant voltage to the load to the means if you will measure the voltage across these two terminals agar aap ye do terminal ke across voltage measure karenge at any point of time you will get the same voltage every time you will get a same voltage every if you will connect a voltmeter here every time you will get a same voltage right so such voltage sources are known as ideal voltage sources right but ideal voltage sources are hypothetical sources they do not practically exist because uh, we know that uh, due to the practical reasons uh, your voltmeter will never measure the same voltage as vs agar voltmeter jo hai wo vs measure kar raha hai har baar every time every time for infinite duration theek hai to us case mein aap ye keh sakte hain ki ye jo source hai this is an ideal source right but practically it is not feasible it is not possible to have an ideal source also um, these are hypothetical sources right okay <clears throat> so practically we have a reduction in the voltage measured by the voltmeter voltmeter jo voltage measure karega wo vs nahi hogi वो वी एस से कम होगी राइट सो वी इज ऑलवेज लेस देन वी एस दिस इज वर प्रैक्टिकल सो प्रैक्टिकल सोर्सेज आर ऑल्सो नॉन एज रियल सोर्सेज और रियल सोर्सेज राइट 
practical sources are also known as real sources right so let us go further now one thing more which you which you need to understand is the symbolic representation here okay so the symbol for voltage source is shown here this is the symbol for voltage source there are there is one more way to represent a voltage source you can represent it with two parallel line one long and one short the long leg is positive and the short leg is negative so this is also a representation or symbol of this is the symbol of dc voltage source and this is also the symbol of dc voltage source right uh, plus and minus in and circled basically so positive uh, sign indicates the positive polarity and negative sign indicates the negative polarity right so this is the symbolic representation right so let us go further let us see the ideal current source so similar to that of an ideal voltage source an ideal current source is also capable of delivering the current towards its terminals so for example if you connect a load here so for example if you have uh the, the the current source right uh a current source is represented with an arrow and circle okay this is the symbol of current source an arrow and circle right arrow indicates the direction of current right so you may have an upward direction you may have a downward direction also so if it is a downward direction then that means current is flowing downward if it is an upward direction then the current is flowing upward right so if you connect a load here for example some load connect you will connect here so ideal in ideal case this current will keep on you know it will be same for infinite duration it will be same okay so jo hamara ideal source hota hai wo infinite duration ke liye apne terminals ke through jo hai सेम और कांस्टेंट करंट हम जिसे कहते हैं कांस्टेंट करंट जो है वो प्रोड्यूस करता है डिलीवर करता है ठीक है सो दीज आर दी वीआई कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स हियर यू कैन सी दीज आर दी वीआई कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स राइट दीज आर दी वीआई कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स सो यू कैन सी द द करंट रिमेंस कांस्टेंट विद वोल्टेज इफ कीप ऑन इंक्रीजिंग द वोल्टेज द करंट विल रिमेन कांस्टेंट सो दीज आर द वीआई कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स सो फॉर इनफाइनाइट ड्यूरेशन द करंट वैल्यू ऑफ करंट विल रिमेन कांस्टेंट सेम but again an ideal current source is an hypothetical uh, source it does not exist practically so practically there will always be certain you know reduction in the current measured at different point of time alag alag time pe jab aap isi source ka current measure karoge so you will find a reduction in the value of the current how do we measure current we measure current using ammeter so ammeter is the device which is used to measure the current right so let us go further now let us come to the practical sources practical sources are those sources which exist which actually exist your cell your battery your alternator any such all these are basically alternator is an ac source basically so this is an ac source okay so we are because discussing the dc sources so let us uh, be confined to cell and battery these are dc sources right now these are the practical sources we all know that our battery gets discharged it get discharged after some, some some point of time cell get discharged after some point of time we need to recharge our battery the best example is your mobile phone you need to recharge your mobile phone every time nowadays you are keeping the uh, battery bank also along with you so that uh, you know you have an easy access to the charging of a battery right why is it so if if your uh, mobile phone battery is an ideal battery you need not to charge your battery but you need to charge your battery mobile phone battery why because you know you and you see that uh, the 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 way you use your mobile phone and the usage of your of your mobile phone uh, brings a substantial reduction in the uh, voltage of your battery substantial reduction in the voltage of your battery right mobile phone battery now you can see here i have 
kept both the diagrams so that uh, you know the things become clear to you now one is the ideal voltage source here what is an ideal voltage source an ideal voltage source is that source which is capable of delivering constant voltage for infinite duration but what is a practical voltage source a practical voltage source is one which in which the voltage with time if this is a not vi character say for example if we have time here so with respect to time also the voltage reduces okay uh, okay the voltage reduces fine so the, these are the vi characteristics here you can see the ideal characteristics are constant but the practical characteristics are reducing right so why is it so and how to verify this concept isko verify kaise karenge isko verify kaise karenge isko verify karne ka sabse acha tarika hai ki main yahan pe ek voltmeter lagata hu ek voltmeter main yahan pe lagata hu अगर मेरा ये आइडियल सोर्स है तो इस ये वोल्टमीटर मुझे क्या देगा V इज इक्वल टू वी एस क्या देगा V इज इक्वल टू वी एस अब अगर ये आइडियल सोर्स नहीं है और प्रैक्टिकल सोर्स है तो मैं प्रैक्टिकल सोर्स पे भी एक वोल्टमीटर लगाता हूं तो ये प्रैक्टिकल सोर्स मुझे क्या देगा V इज इक्वल टू वी एस माइनस आई एस आर एस बशर्ते यहाँ पे एक रेजिस्टेंस कनेक्टेड होना चाहिए ये पाथ क्लोज होना चाहिए बिकॉज इफ दिस पाथ इज ओपन करंट विल नॉट फ्लो वी ऑल नो दैट करंट फ्लोज इन अ क्लोज पाथ राइट सो दिस वुड बी द इक्वेशन हियर सो दैट मींस दैट मींस दैट मींस वी हैव अ सर्टेन वोल्टेज ड्रॉप इन द पाथ because of a resistance which is falling in series with the voltage source humne kya paya jab humne voltmeter lagaya iske terminal pe basharte hamara ye path jo hai close hai yahan pe ek resistance connected hai to humne ye paya ke bhaiya ye jo isme bhi same case rahega yahan pe bhi ek path resistance connected hona chahiye right to is resistance ke across jo voltage hoga agar wo vs hai to ye ideal source hai ठीक है इसका मतलब इसके सीरीज में कोई रेजिस्टेंस है ही नहीं जहां पे कोई वोल्टेज ड्रॉप होता हो ओके बट व्हाट वी हैव सीन हियर दैट व्हेन वी हैव कनेक्टेड अ वोल्ट मीटर हियर इन दिस केस द वोल्ट मीटर विल गिव मी दिस रीडिंग वी एस माइनस आई आर एस व्हाट इज दिस माइनस आई एस आर एस दिस माइनस आई एस आर एस इज द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप इट इज द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप and this voltage drop is because of this resistance which is falling in series with this source what does it mean it means that practically our voltage sources have a resistance which falls in series with it practically hamare voltage sources ka kuch na kuch resistance hota hai aur ye resistance us voltage source ke sath series mein aata hai ठीक है बट इन आइडियल केस द वोल्टेज सोर्स हैज जीरो रेजिस्टेंस सो हम यहां लिखेंगे इस चीज को आइडियल वोल्टेज सोर्स डज नॉट हैव एनी इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस but practically a voltage source possesses negligible internal resistance right you might be having a question in your mind that how to verify this i have already mentioned this thing in uh, just few minutes back that how to verify this that whether your voltage source has some resistance or not take a volt voltage source take a voltmeter connect them to one another do not connect any resistance in between uh, you know the voltage source and voltmeter do not connect any resistance between a voltage source and a 
voltmeter right take a voltage source take a voltmeter there is no need to connect any resistance anywhere in the circuitry there will only be a voltage source and a voltmeter like this a voltage source and a voltmeter that is it ideally if the value of this voltage source is vs ideally v should be equal to vs but practically when you well when you will measure this voltage using a voltmeter v will always be less than vs why is it so that means at these two terminals at the across these two terminals the voltage has reduced the first case is the ideal case and second case is the real case so this indicates bachcha this indicates that कि आपका रास्ते में कहीं ना कहीं कुछ वोल्टेज ड्रॉप हुआ है तभी इस वोल्टमीटर ने जो वोल्टेज मेजर किया है वो ऐसे मेजर किया है वी एस माइनस आई एस आर एस तो कुछ ना कुछ रास्ते में रेजिस्टेंस था रहा होगा ठीक है और इसी वजह से वहां पे जो उसने रीडिंग मुझे दिखाई मान लीजिए मेरा ये वोल्टेज सोर्स बारह वोल्ट का है फॉर एग्जाम्पल है ना 12 वोल्ट का है सो so, मेरा वोल्टमीटर क्या रीडिंग देना चाहिए इट शुड बी 12 वोल्ट बट इट विल गिव मी 11.92 वोल्ट नाउ वेयर इज दैट 0.08 वोल्ट गॉन दैट 0.08 वोल्ट इज द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप दैट इज अकरिंग इन द पाथ सो दैट मींस दैट इंडिकेट्स दैट दिस वोल्टेज सोर्स पोजेसिस सर्टेन रेजिस्टेंस that means the voltage so does not have zero resistance it has certain resistance that may be negligible okay it cannot be infinite the resistance cannot be infinite for in case of uh, voltage source why just assume that if this resistance is infinite or let us say very high if rs is very high now if you connect a uh, load here if you connect a load here rl for example so the voltage across this load vl will be equal to vs minus i <clears throat> rs the voltage across these two terminals yahan pe yahan pe jo voltage hoga that will be equal to vl is equal to vs minus i rs right agar mera ye rs bahut zyada hai तो मेरा वोल्ट वी एल जो है इट विल बी वेरी वेरी लेस देन वी एस ना वट डज इट इंडिकेट इट इंडिकेट दैट द लोड इज नॉट गेटिंग सफिशियंट एनर्जी लोड को सफिशियंट एनर्जी नहीं मिल रही है सिर्फ एज्यूम कीजिए कि यहां पे आपका एक बल्ब लगा हुआ है लैंप लगा हुआ है एक लैंप लगा हुआ है फॉर एग्जांपल यहां पे एक लैंप लगा हम लैंप का सिंबल बनाते हैं ठीक है एक लैंप लगा हुआ है अगर ये रेजिस्टेंस बहुत ज्यादा हो जाए व्हाट विल हैपन दिस लैंप विल नॉट यू नो ग्लो टू इट्स फुल इंटेंसिटी राइट इट वुड लुक डिम फेड राइट सो दैट इज वाई the resistance that falls in series with a voltage source or you can say the resistance of a voltage source practical voltage source is always negligible a practical voltage source has negligible resistance right so you can note down all these things in your notebook right okay now let us go further we'll see the practical current source also now let us come to practical current source a practical current source is that uh, energy source in which the current being delivered to the load terminals reduces with respect with time it reduces with time or it reduces with voltage also right so uh, these are the vi characteristics of practical uh, current source right 
so there are two diagrams you can see um, you know uh, this is the ideal current source diagram for for ideal current source and this is the diagram for practical current source now what is this rp is infinite and rp is not infinite this is the finite value this is the finite value what is it this rp indicates the internal resistance of a current source it is internal resistance of the current source right this is the internal resistance of the current source what is the internal resistance and how to verify this internal resistance that is very interesting the same concept can be applied here also right the same concept can be applied here also but here because we are using a current source so we need to measure the current and how do we measure current we measure current by using ammeter by using ammeter right now as you can see if i connect a, an ammeter here for example i connect an ammeter here so this ammeter shall give me a reading which shall be equal to i is equal to is in case of ideal but in case of practical if i connect an ammeter here this ammeter shall give me a reading let us say it is uh, for example il for example it is always less than is why is it so that means when is has started from this source it will go in this path it will come to this point and at this point it will see there is a uh, this path and there is one this path and so it will get divided and some portion will go here and rest of the portion will go to the ammeter and in this case what was happening because here we are saying that rp is infinite what is rp rp is the internal resistance of current source and we are saying that rp is infinite because rp is infinite so no current will flow here i is equal to 0 in this path when i is equal to 0 in this path so the whole current will flow in this and that is why this ammeter will give you as it is reading in ideal case so how to verify this you take a current source you take an ammeter you take you can have a resistance also if you want right so what you can do is you can have a resistance of any value any value whatever you want right we only want to verify whether it is a real or ideal right take a current source take a current source let us take a current source let us take a resistance of some value and let us connect an ammeter here so ammeter will always be connected in series with the element remember this thing okay because current flows through element and voltage appears across the element current flows through element and voltage appears across element right so now this current you don't have any like here we have connected up you know resistance in parallel to this source but here we will not connect any resistance right we'll see if the value of this is i s for example and the value of ammeter is i for example so i should be equal to i s right but practically i will be less than is practically kya hoga i less hoga is se aisa kyu hua humne to yahan pe beech mein koi resistance connect nahi ki hai yahan pe to kuch nahi connected hai fir mera ammeter ne is se kam reading kyu diya mujhe uska karan ye hai ki is source ka ek resistance hai jisko hum uski internal resistance bolte hain matlab kya hai ki this source has a resistance and we call that resistance as the internal resistance of this source and this resistance is appearing parallel to the source 
that is why when the current is flowing and you have a resistance connected here and you have an emitter connected here in series with this resistance rl for example so that is why because at this point when the current will this is will reach here when this is will reach here this current will get divided in two paths and because in this path you have a current less than this one less than is okay so is is coming to this junction some current is going in this path rest of the current is going here so this current is your i for example so i will be equal to, i will be less than is so this indicates that the current source which you are using is a practical current source and it possesses certain resistance and we call that resistance as the internal resistance of the current source and that resistance falls in parallel to the current source right so what we will write here now you can write down in your notebook you can note down all these points so you will write that um, an ideal uh, current source has infinite resistance but practically it has very high internal resistance right so it has very high internal resistance now why don't we have zero internal resistance of a current source why don't we have a zero internal resistance or why don't we have a very low internal resistance of a current source and the answer to that is for example for example Uh, consider a source let us consider this source here okay so if this rs is zero if rs is zero right so this path will behave like a short path it will behave like a short path right for example you have a load connected here you have a load connected here so what will happen this is will go to this point and it is standing at this churaha duraha sorry hindi mein hum kya bolenge dorahe pe khada hai assume kijiye ki doraha hai jahan pe current khada hai aur wo do raste dekh raha hai ek taraf usko speed breakers dikh rahe hain theek hai current jo hai wo bike pe hai ek raste mein usko speed breakers dikh rahe hain ek raste mein usko bada smooth sa rasta spark rasta bada acha pyara rasta dikh raha hai to kidhar jayega वो स्पार्ट रास्ते पे जाएगा वो स्मूथ रास्ते पे जाएगा वो स्पीड ब्रेकर्स पे नहीं जाएगा रेजिस्टेंस इज द स्पीड ब्रेकर फॉर करंट राइट सो इफ दिस रेजिस्टेंस इज शॉर्ट जीरो सो द करंट विल गो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर पाथ मोर करंट विल फ्लो हियर और यू कैन से ऑल द करंट विल फ्लो हियर एंड लेस करंट विल फ्लो हियर बट ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए क्यों नहीं होना चाहिए मेरा ये जो लोड है ये फैन हो सकता है ये लैंप हो सकता है लाइट हो सकती है बल्ब हो सकता है राइट सो so, मुझे तो इसको जलाना है मुझे तो इसको चलाना है ना मुझे इससे तो कोई मतलब नहीं है आई एम लीस्ट कंसर्न अबाउट कि इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस क्या है आई एम मोर कंसर्न अबाउट द फैक्ट दैट दिस करंट शेल रीच टू दिस लोड द इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इज मेंट फॉर लोड okay and it shall reach to load it should reach it must reach to load right so but agar mera ye internal resistance less ho jaye bahut low ho jaye zero ho jaye to mere load ko to electrical energy mila hi nahi aur agar use electrical energy nahi mila to wo operate nahi karega efficient operation uska nahi hoga will not give you efficiency right so that is why in case of current source the internal resistance rp must be i ideally infinite and in case of uh, you know uh, voltage source the internal resistance shall be uh, shall be zero Okay, it shall be zero. 
right so now let us come to the dependent sources now the dependent sources are those sources which depend upon certain other parameter certain other parameter right so in this category though we don't have this in our syllabus this is not the part of our syllabus but i uh, wanted you people to know the dependent sources also okay so <clears throat> now dependent sources are those sources which produce the amount of voltage or current that is dependent on some other voltage or current now if the voltage is dependent on it can be dependent on either voltage or current so if the voltage is dependent upon voltage we call it as voltage dependent voltage source and if the voltage is dependent upon current then we call it as uh, uh, voltage uh, uh, yes so current dependent voltage source so it is a current dependent voltage source right so a dependent voltage source is of two types a dependent voltage source is of two type one is which depends upon the voltage of some other you know element and second is which depend upon the current of some other element like in these diagrams if you see this is a voltage dependent voltage source so this vab depends upon vcd similarly here this voltage depends upon the current here this one now because these are not the part of our syllabus so i am not going in deep to these uh, you know points right and uh, these are the symbolic representation also like right? okay so we uh, you know represent the dependent sources with, in a diamond shape basically with some polarity inside them right then let us come to the dependent current sources so again dependent current sources are also of two types uh, one is uh, the current source which depend upon some voltage and second is the current source which depend upon some current so we have voltage dependent current source and then we have current dependent current source right okay now the symbolic representation is this diamond shape and an arrow so if the value of this is let us say beta v so this is a voltage dependent current source अगर इसका वैल्यू जो है बीटा वी है मतलब बीटा कुछ भी हो सकता है ठीक है बीटा एक फैक्टर है वी वोल्टेज है सो वी इज अ वोल्टेज हियर दिस इज अ वोल्टेज ओके अगर मेरा इस करंट सोर्स का वैल्यू है लेटर से बीटा आई एंड एक एरो है इधर सो बीटा इज सम फैक्टर इट इज अ सम फैक्टर एंड आई इज द करंट सो इट इज अ it is the it is the current dependent current source right so these are the dependent sources so let us review this one dependent sources are those sources which depend uh, wherein the voltage and current depends upon some other voltage or current so based on that we have dependent voltage sources we have dependent current sources further we have um voltage dependent voltage source current dependent voltage source and we have voltage dependent current source and current dependent current source now let us come to the next slide now as we have already discussed the electrical networks in our previous lecture <coughs> so in this slide we will be discussing some basic terms which are used in electrical networks to start with we have a term known as node n o d e node okay so what is a node node is that point in electrical network where two or more than two elements are connected either two like if there are two diagrams i'll draw there are two elements let us say there are two resistances r1 and r2 they are connected to one another at this particular point so this is a node this is also a node because 
as per definition where two or more elements two or more elements are connected this is that point that point we call as node right then we have junction now what is a junction junction is that point where three or more than three elements are connected where three or more than three elements are connected for example this one let us have let us say we have three resistances r1 r2 and r3 so any such point where you see jahan bhi aap dekhenge teen branch teen elements connected hain is point pe us point ko hum kya bolenge junction so every junction is a node please note down this every junction is a node but every node is not a junction every remember every junction is a node because node ke definition mein bhi kya aata hai do ya do se zyada elements aur junction ke definition mein kya aata hai jahan teen ya teen se zyada element theek hai so teen do se zyada hi hota hai to junction node hi hai lekin har node junction nahi hota theek hai so let us proceed further in the same slide now we have uh a term known as branch so sorry a term known as branch here so branch is um, basically any element okay it may have it may there may be one element in a branch there may be several elements connected in series in a branch so any such um, any such elements which are connected from one junction to another junction which are connected from one junction to another junction um that particular is known as branch right then we have loop loop is nothing but the closed path okay and then we have mesh mesh is the elementary loop now which uh, which loop we will call the elementary loop that loop which cannot be subdivided into further loops jinko hum further loops mein loops mein subdivide nahi kar sakte usko hum mesh bolte hain theek hai now let us see it through a diagram as you can see from the definition of node two or more than two elements now this is one element this is another element they two are these two are connected here so this is a node right this is a node and these now this element and then this element or this element this element are connected here so this is a node this is also a node this is also a node because uh you have an element connected here right Okay. so but these three nodes can be taken as a same node because hamara is node aur is node ke beech mein is node isse bada mess up ho gaya isko saaf kar deta hu is node aur is node ke beech mein aapke paas short path hai kya hai short path right ye short path hai bachcha to short path hone ki wajah se aap in sabhi nodes ko isko 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 ek hi node maan sakte hain ek hi node maan sakte इसी प्रकार से नीचे भी ये चारों नोड्स जो हैं वो एक ही नोड काउंट हो सकती है ठीक है इसी प्रकार से आप ब्रांच देख सकते हैं जो एक जंक्शन से दूसरे जंक्शन के बीच में एक्सटेंड करता है वो ब्रांच कहलाता है हालांकि आप सिंगल एलिमेंट को भी ब्रांच बोल सकते हैं आप एक सिंगल एलिमेंट को भी यू कैन कॉल इट एज अ ब्रांच ना लेट एस कम टू लूप ओके चलिए देखते हैं कि लूप क्या होता है loop is the closed path every circuit electrical circuit has closed path right now as you can see here the current will flow from this point it will go through this resistance it will divide here then it will go further then divide here then go further and it can come like this so here you have a current flowing here you have a current flowing and then here you have a current flowing you also have current flowing in the external path right now all these are loops basically the path in which current is flowing the starting and the end point of the if the starting and end point of the current is same agar current ka starting point aur end point same hai to wo ek loop bana raha hai wo ek closed path bana raha hai usme current flow kar raha hai ab mesh kya hoga dekhiye isi mein hum mesh dhoondte hain mesh kya hai chaliye isme mesh dhoondte hain aap bataiye mujhe mesh kya hoga अब ये देखिए ये जो ये वाला जो लूप है ये वाला इस लूप के अंदर कोई लूप नहीं है 
अगर आप इसको इसका एक्सटर्नल लूप चेक करें जैसे ये वाला अगर लूप आप चेक करें ये वाला है ना दिस वन इफ यू सी दिस लूप इट हैज वन लूप सेकेंड लूप थ्री लूप उसमें तीन लूप्स हैं तो ये मैश नहीं हुआ ये मैश नहीं हुआ ठीक है मैश क्या हुआ ये जो लूप है ये मैश हुआ ये मैश हुआ यस ये मैश हुआ यस क्योंकि इसके अंदर कोई लूप नहीं है यस ये मैश हुआ यस इसमें फर्दर कोई लूप नहीं है जिसमें फर्दर कोई लूप ना हो वही एलिमेंट्री लूप कहलाता है उसी को हम मैश बोलते हैं चलिए आगे चलते हैं नाउ वी आर एट द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ दिस लेक्चर साइन कन्वेंशन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट गाइज वाई इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इन आर फोर्थ कमिंग लेक्चर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग के सी एल के सी एल के वी एल एंड सम थियोरम्स मैश एनालिसिस नोडल एनालिसिस so there we will require to form the equations we will require to form the equations now how to form the equation we must know the sign that is used for the voltage drop across a resistance or a passive element for the voltage across a source whether the source is behaving as a voltage source or it is behaving as a load when i say voltage source i mean to say that the element which is delivering the uh, electrical energy and when i say voltage drop i mean to say the element which is absorbing the electrical energy right electrical power so this is very important part of the lecture you must listen to this part very carefully right now you can see how to measure how to consider the voltage across a voltage source as positive voltage or negative voltage hum kaise pata lagayenge ki mera ek voltage source hai us voltage source ke across agar main voltmeter lagata hu to ye mujhe voltage negative voltage dega ya positive voltage dega ye kaise pata laga इसका सीधा सीधा मैथमेटिकल कंसेप्ट ये है कि अगर आपकी बैटरी से करंट जो है वो नेगेटिव टर्मिनल से पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल की तरफ फ्लो कर रहा है इफ द करंट थ्रू द बैटरी इज फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल टू द फ्रॉम द नेगेटिव टर्मिनल फ्रॉम नेगेटिव टर्मिनल टू द पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल of battery so this will be termed as positive v yes is source ka jo voltage hai wo voltage positive hoga agar current jo hai is battery se reverse kar jaye matlab positive se negative ki taraf ja raha hai agar current jo hai if it is flowing from positive to negative right so this is positive terminal negative terminal if this is vs so if you will connect a voltmeter here right this voltmeter will give you a negative voltage why the current is towards the positive terminal humne ye padha hai ki positive terminal se current nikalta hai negative terminal mein current enter karta hai लेकिन यहाँ पे तो पॉजिटिव में एंटर कर रहा है नेगेटिव से निकल रहा है इसका मतलब ये वोल्टेज नेगेटिव हुई इसका मतलब ये सोर्स जो है वो लोड की तरह बिहेव कर रहा है ये सोर्स इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर को एब्जॉर्ब कर रहा है राइट सो व्हेन द वोल्टेज इज पॉजिटिव व्हेन द वोल्टेज इज पॉजिटिव वी call it as voltage rise and we call voltage when the voltage is negative ab jab voltage negative hoga to usko voltage drop bolenge to yahan se hame kya samajh mein aaya ki agar koi voltage source hai 
उसका वोल्टेज पॉजिटिव है या नेगेटिव है पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव से मेरा कहने का मतलब है कि क्या वो वास्तव में वोल्टेज सोर्स की तरह बिहेव कर रहा है या वो वोल्टेज ड्रॉप की तरह बिहेव कर रहा है या वो एब्जॉर्ब कर रहा है पावर डिलीवर कर रहा है या एब्जॉर्ब कर रहा है ये कैसे पता लगाएंगे अगर आपकी बैटरी के पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल से करंट निकला और नेगेटिव में एंटर किया तो वो वोल्टेज सोर्स है वो वोल्टेज डिलीवर कर रहा है वो वोल्टेज राइज है वो वोल्टेज पॉजिटिव है अगर आपका करंट जो है वो बैटरी टूवर्ड्स पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ द बैटरी है इट इज फ्लोइंग टूवर्ड्स द पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ द बैटरी एग्जिट कर रहा है नेगेटिव टर्मिनल बैटरी से तो वो वोल्टेज ड्रॉप है वो नेगेटिव वोल्टेज है वो पावर एब्जॉर्ब कर रहा है इसी प्रकार से इसी तरह से इसी वे से आ हम जो है एक पैसिव एलिमेंट के एक्रोस भी वोल्टेज पॉजिटिव है या नेगेटिव है पता लगा सकते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज अ रेजिस्टेंस देर इज अ रेजिस्टेंस राइट For example, the current flowing in this resistance is in is in this direction, and the value of this current is I, and the value of this resistance is R. अब ये current इस point से चला और इस point पे गया, इस resistance के through. और current हमेशा कहाँ से flow करता है? High potential to low potential. कैसे flow करता है? हाई पोटेंशियल टू लो पोटेंशियल द करंट ऑलवेज फ्लोज फ्रॉम हाई पोटेंशियल टू लो पोटेंशियल एंड हाई पोटेंशियल इज ऑलवेज कंसिडर्ड एज पॉजिटिव लो पोटेंशियल इज ऑलवेज कंसिडर्ड एज नेगेटिव राइट ना लेट अस ड्रॉ अब जब ये करंट बच्चा इस रेजिस्टेंस के थ्रू फ्लो करेगा तो इसके अक्रॉस क्या आएगा एक वोल्टेज ड्रॉप आएगा जो होगा आई आर अब ये आई आर पॉजिटिव है या नेगेटिव है ये हमें नहीं पता हम इसका पता लगाते हैं चलिए इसका इक्विलेंट बना लेते हैं बैटरी जिसकी वैल्यू है आई आर नाउ हाउ डिड आई मेक दिस बैटरी दिस बैटरी इज द इक्विलेंट ऑफ दिस रेजिस्टेंस इनटू करंट बिकॉज व्हाट आई एम सेइंग आई एम सेइंग दैट द करंट इज फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टू दिस पॉइंट तो दिस पॉइंट इज एट पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल पोटेंशियल दिस पॉइंट इज एट नेगेटिव पोटेंशियल राइट बिकॉज द करंट इज फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम हाई पोटेंशियल टू लो पोटेंशियल so let us replace this positive with the positive terminal of the battery let us replace this negative with the negative terminal of the battery right now the direction of current will remain same and the direction of current is this now where is the current going the current is going towards the positive terminal of the battery and hence this ir will be negative and it will be termed as voltage drop okay now for example for the same resistance r for the same resistance r if the direction of current if this end is positive this end is negative right and the direction of current is let us say this so it will be positive ir it will be voltage rise okay so there are two things basically okay the direction of current and the polarity across the resistance if the polarity across the resistance is plus and minus and the current is for example this one okay so it is from negative to positive so it will be plus i r right so this is all we have mentioned here you can go through these slides right everything has been mentioned here okay so these two topics are very important guys because Uh, you really need to know whether you have to mark the voltage or i into r as positive or negative when you will write the equations of the circuit jab aap circuit ke equations likhenge na to aapko positive mention karna hai ya negative mention karna hai ye to pata hona chahiye equation mein right so isliye it is very important now let us come to next topic of the lecture and it is current division rule this is Uh, a very basic uh, analysis of uh, circuit uh, by which we can find out the current in parallel branches we all know and we all have studied that the current is divided in parallel let us say if there are n number of uh, resistances or elements connected in pure parallel pure parallel right 
to one another so if this is i1 this is let us say r1 r2 r3 r n for example so this will have some current i1 this will have some current i2 this will have some current i3 and so on this will have some current i n so this i will be equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 dash 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 plus i n right guys <coughs> so if we have to find out the value of let us say i1 how will we find out we will use current division rule okay so in this slide we will cover the mathematical aspect also of the current division rule so let us uh, try to understand this concept with a simplest circuit with two branches uh, wherein two resistances resistances are connected to one another in parallel right so let us say r1 and r2 are two resistances they are connected to one another in parallel and i is the total current it is coming to this particular what is this node okay so at this node this current will divide and these values are let us say i1 and i2 okay and the total voltage between these two points is v voltage across this resistance is v2 sorry guys voltage across this is let us say plus and minus so it is v2 and here also we have plus and minus let us say it is v1 right so the total voltage total current is i total voltage is v so v is equal to ir as per ohm's law now i1 what is i1 here i1 will be the voltage across this r1 divided by r1 but if you see and if you have understood the concept of parallel circuit we all know that in parallel circuit the voltage will remain same now whether this is this particular point or this point we all know these two points are same these two points are same why these two points are same because between this point and this point we don't have any resistance it is a short path right so that means v1 is equal to v2 is equal to v v1 is equal to v2 is equal to v why because these two resistances are in pure parallel to one another they are in pure parallel to one another okay now let us come to i1 so i1 is equal to v1 and v1 is equal to v so it is v by r1 and similarly the current in this particular resistance will be the voltage across this resistance and that is uh, your v right divided by r2 so i2 is equal to v by r2 <coughs> now let us find out the parallel combination of these two resistances and you all know how to find out the parallel combination of the resistances okay if two resistances are connected in parallel to one another how do we find out the uh, parallel combination of the resistances so let us uh, say there are two resistances let us say r1 uh, sorry uh, sorry so there are there is let us say r1 and then you have r2 these two are in parallel so the equivalent resistance is 1 upon r is equal to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 taking lcm you will get 1 upon r is equal to r1 plus r2 divided by r1 r2 and now when you take the reciprocal so you will get this value okay now v is equal to ir we can also write i is equal to v by r now let us go further so i is equal to v by r sorry i is equal to v by r i is equal to v by r now what is r r is this this is r so we'll put v into r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 this will go up so it will become this one similarly we know that v is equal to i1 r1 and it is also equal to i2 r2 because v1 is equal to v2 is equal to v because the circuit is parallel right 
so if you substitute v here in this point replace v with i1 r1 you'll get this one so here r1 is r1 cancelled out so you have i1 into r2 uh, i1 divided by r2 into r1 plus r2 okay similarly if you put v is equal to y2 r2 in this equation in this equation number 4 this equation number 4 right so here i uh, okay so r2 and r2 will be cancelled out so you have this equation here right so that means now rearrange this equation Okay, so this is a typographic error. This is I two, so don't get confused here, right? So this is I two. So if you rearrange equation number six, now let us rearrange it. So you have I one is equal to I into R two divided by R one plus R two. Similarly, you can find out I two, which is equal to by rearranging this equation, right? So you have I two is equal to I into R one divided by R one plus R two. right guys so what you can conclude from here that if two resistances are connected in parallel to one another the current through any one resistance is the product of total current into the resistance of opposite branch divided by sum of both resistances okay so r2 belongs to the resistance of opposite branch you can see aap i1 nikal rahe hai na so sorry आप क्या निकाल रहे हैं I1, ओके सो आप I1 निकाल रहे हैं सो so, I1 क्या है टोटल करंट I इन टू रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ अपोजिट ब्रांच डिवाइड बाय सम ऑफ दिस टू रेजिस्टेंसेस, और I2 क्या है देखिए वट इज I2, I2 टू इज टोटल करंट सॉरी I2 टू इज टोटल करंट इन टू रेजिस्टेंस आर वन डिवाइड बाई आर वन प्लस आर टू लेट सी टू डायग्राम वट इज आई I two is so I two is total current into resistance R one divided by sum of these two resistances, right? So this was current division rule. This is how you can find out, guys. Then let us come to the voltage division rule. Similarly, we can also use voltage division rule for the basic circuit analysis. okay we all know that voltage when all the elements are connected in series with one another across a voltage source so this is let us say v this is some r1 let us say this is some r2 this is some r3 this is some let us say rn and the current is i flowing here so this r1 will have now this current i will flow through this r1 jab ye current i is r1 se flow karega to iske across kya aa jayega v1 ek voltage drop aayega jab yahi current is r2 se flow kare kyunki series mein current same rehta hai to yahan pe kya aa gaya v2 fir yahi isse flow kiya to kya aaya v3 and so on so what do you have got vn right now So what is V? V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus dash 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 plus Vn. So that means when the elements are connected in series, pure series to one another, the voltage gets divided across each element based on the resistance of that particular element. उस element की resistance के basis पे हर element के across कुछ ना कुछ voltage आएगा. Right? Now. the same concept has been explained here so let us consider a circuit with two resistances connected in series with one another the total voltage is v total current is i when this current i flows through this r1 it will create a voltage drop v1 across this r1 when the same current i flows to r2 it will create a voltage drop v2 across this r2 so v is equal to v1 plus v2 right okay so what is v1 so v is equal to ir r is equal to r1 plus r2 right and v1 is equal to i into r1 right so by using this concept we can find out now i is it this this is i okay ye kaise aaya v is equal to ir so v is equal to i into r1 plus r2 और यहां से आपने आई निकाल लिया वी बाई आर वन प्लस 
आर टू राइट सो आपने क्या किया वी वन निकाला आई इन टू आर वन सो आई की वैल्यू क्या रख दी वी बाई आर वन प्लस आर टू इन टू आर टू आर वन सो सॉरी ओके सो दिस इज सॉरी दिस इज आर वन राइट so in this way you can find out the voltage across each element so this is what we call as voltage division rule right and this is very important a very basic uh, method to for the circuit analysis and the last topic of this lecture is source transformation this is also very important uh, method or technique which is used for uh, you know uh, analysis of the electrical circuits this is a mathematical technique basically and this technique says that we can transform a practical voltage source into a practical current source right okay so this is a typical mathematical method and vice versa is also true means you can convert a current source practical current source into practical voltage source by using this method in the reality you are not changing a voltage source into current source this is a mathematical tool okay this is a mathematical tool which we use for the analysis of the electrical circuits right but there is there are certain conditions and the conditions are that the open circuit voltage at their terminals shall be equal must be equal and the short circuit current must also be equal where for example there is a voltage source and a voltage source has a resistance which is connected in series with it and there is a current source what okay this is the symbolic representation of voltage and current source and we know that current source has a resistance connected in parallel to it so these two are the internal resistances so the first condition says that the open circuit voltage in both the cases shall be same and the short circuit current when you short these two terminals the short circuit current flowing in these two terminals shall be same must be same if these condition these two conditions are satisfied only then you can transform these sources into one another otherwise you cannot transform right so <clears throat> this is a practical voltage source we have a equivalent practical current source here and this is is equal to uh, vs by rs so that means the resist when you are transforming jab aap uh, voltage source ko transform karte hain current source mein to jo voltage source ka resistance hota hai yani ki rs the same resistance will be put in parallel to the current source अब ये एरो कैसे डिसाइड करते हैं हम कि अपवर्ड होगा या डाउनवर्ड होगा ये डिपेंड करता है इस पोलैरिटी पे ओके द एरो साइन डिपेंड्स अपॉन द पोलैरिटी ऑफ द वोल्टेज सोर्स इफ द पोलैरिटी इज प्लस एंड माइनस सो द करंट सोर्स विल बी हैविंग अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन इफ द पोलैरिटी इज माइनस प्लस सो द करंट सोर्स विल बी हैविंग अ डाउनवर्ड एरो राइट सो नो similarly you can convert a practical current source into a practical voltage source the resistance which is in parallel to the current source will fall in series with the voltage source and the value of vs will be equal to is rs right now there is a short proof which we can you know uh, uh, through which we can understand here let us consider a voltage source which is having a resistance r connected in series and this resistance r is the internal resistance of the of the voltage source right now let us keep the terminals open in both cases for example this is the equivalent current source here and it is it is having a resistance r1 for example it is having a resistance r1 connected in parallel to it so as per the condition voc shall be equal to voc dash now voc dash is the volt open circuit voltage in um, the current source case and sorry 
uh, voc is the open circuit voltage of the this circuit right if these two are open so in the first case here what is the equation for voc so voc is equal to vs because this is an open circuit so no current will flow here i is equal to 0 it is 0 so voc is equal to vs right now what is the equation for voc dash ab dekhiye ye do terminal jo hai in do terminal ke parallel mein hai theek hai to iska matlab ye jo voltage hai this voltage is appearing across these two terminals parallel aa gaya na to parallel aa gaya to kya hoga is into r1 ab ye dono same hona chahiye to jab same hoga to iska matlab kya hua ke aapka jo इक्वेशन बनेगा वो इक्वेशन क्या बनेगा VOC और VOC डैश बराबर है VOC क्या हुआ VS के बराबर VOC डैश क्या हुआ IS इंटू आर वन सो आई एस क्या हुआ वी एस बाय आर वन है ना ठीक है तो इस तरह से हम इसको समझ सकते हैं कंसेप्ट को इसी तरह से वट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन ट्रांसफॉर्म अ करंट सोर्स इन टू एन इक्विलेंट वोल्टेज सोर्स विद द सेम कंसेप्ट so here what you are doing you are short circuiting the two terminals load terminals ko aap short circuit kar dijiye ek case mein maan lijiye short circuit current hai wo isc dash hai dusre mein isc hai theek hai dusre mein isc hai <coughs> right guys so as per the condition of transformation source transformation isc shall be equal to isc dash to so isc kya hua is case mein आई होगा आई के बराबर क्यों करंट डिवीजन रूल लगाते हैं चलिए करंट डिवीजन रूल लगाते हैं यहाँ पे करंट डिवीजन रूल का एप्लीकेशन भी समझ में आ जाएगा आपको चलिए करंट डिवीजन रूल लगाएं करंट इन दिस ब्रांच आई एस सी इज इक्वल टू टोटल करंट आई राइट इन टू रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ अपोजिट ब्रांच आर वन डिवाइड बाय सम ऑफ द टू रेजिस्टेंसिस R1 plus zero, so this is equal to ISC dash is equal to I into R1 divided by R1, so cancelled, so ISC dash is equal to IS. This. कहने का मतलब ये है कि जब करंट को किसी नोड पे जब वो पहुंचता है और उसको उस नोड के दोनों तरफ दो रास्ते दिखते हैं एक रास्ते में रेजिस्टेंस है एक रास्ते में कोई रेजिस्टेंस नहीं है तो वो सारा करंट मैथमेटिकली आइडली वो सारा करंट इस रास्ते से गुजर जाएगा मैथमेटिकली राइट सो आई एस सी इज इक्वल टू आई एस सॉरी आई एस सी डैश इज इक्वल टू आई एस राइट नाउ लेट एस कम हियर लेट एस फाइंड आउट आई एस सी वट इज आई एस सी आई एस सी विल बी इक्वल टू वी एस बाई आर दिस इज प्योर ओम स्लो हियर राइट प्योर ओम स्लो now now as per the condition of source transformation isc dash shall be equal to isc so that means is is equal to vs by r in previous slide what did we get we got is is equal to vs by r1 now let us equate them okay so is is equal to vs by r1 circuit to same hai na so is jo hai wo vs by r1 bhi hai और वो वी एस बाई आर भी है ये कैंसिल हुआ सो so R क्या हुआ R1 के बराबर हुआ यही चीज हम समझाना चा, समझना चाह रहे थे कि जब भी आप किसी वोल्टेज सोर्स को करंट सोर्स में ट्रांसफॉर्म करते हैं तो उस कंडीशन में बच्चों क्या करना है कि एक करंट सोर्स बनाना है जिसकी वैल्यू होगी वी एस बाई आर एस आर एस क्या है वी एस यानी वोल्टेज सोर्स का इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस और उसी रेजिस्टेंस को पैरेलल में कनेक्ट कर दो आई के तो आपका सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन हो गया आपने वोल्टेज सोर्स से करंट सोर्स में ट्रांसफॉर्म कर दिया इन द सेम वे इफ यू हैव अ करंट सोर्स गाइस इफ यू हैव अ करंट सोर्स एंड इफ यू वांट टू ट्रांसफॉर्म दिस करंट सोर्स एंड इक्विलेंट वोल्टेज सोर्स वट यू विल डू यू विल ड्रॉ अ वोल्टेज सोर्स एंड वैल्यू ऑफ दिस वोल्टेज सोर्स विल बी आई एस where rs is the internal resistance of current source and the same resistance will be connected in series with the voltage source so this is how you can convert aur yahan mathematically humne isko prove bhi kiya ki r1 aur r dono same hai yani ki jo resistance current source ke parallel mein hai aur jo resistance voltage source ke series mein hai wo same hai ek hi hai right guys so 
now so guys this was all about today's uh, lecture today's class so in this lecture we have uh, <coughs> discussed about the uh, the concepts which are used for the basic circuit analysis we have uh, discussed the network terminology also we have discussed the current division rule also we have discussed the voltage division rule we have discussed the source transformation right we have discussed the electrical energy sources okay three these are of two types dc and ac it is unidirectional it is bidirectional then further you can categorize them as so you can guys categorize them as so you can categorize them as uh, you know independent and then dependent similar is the case for ac also uh, right so now sorry and then you can categorize them as ideal and real and dependents are voltage control voltage source uh, sorry voltage dependent voltage source current dependent current source uh, voltage dependent current source and uh, current uh, dependent voltage source right so now this was all about today's class guys thank you so much